Okay, so heading into 08 concepts, we're going to do a startup drawing that's going to have a number of settings, and we're going to save this drawing uh, as a blank startup drawing, and we're going to use it in the upcoming assignments. So let's just go over all the settings. We're going to start here with the QNU and open with no template. We're going to set our units, UN enter, a enter, LM for limits, enter, except the zero zero for lower left, and here we can put in our 4434, but those are always going to be changeable. We're going to turn off dynamic input like we always do, although uh, if you wish you can use it. I'm, we want to have our dimension toolbar open now, always as always our inquiry. We want to have our object snap and we need our viewport uh, toolbars all open now and docked over ready to use. We're going to come in we are just quickly set our grid at 12 and do a zoom all and take off our adaptive grid so that it always displays whether we're zoomed in or not zoomed in with the setting that we've asked it to which is every one foot we want a grid dot. Then we're going to come into polar we're going to set this angle at 45 say OK. We're going to uh, knowing that we we will make the occasional note in model space. We're going to set up a textile for that, and because we 90% of the time print out in a quarter inch scale, we know that we need to make this six inches high. So we're going to do a new style here. We're going to call it MS for model space, six inch notes and we'll set this as recommended by uh, the manual. We're going to set this as Roman S and height of 6 inches. So I pressed enter, therefore it, uh, it's applied and now I can close this. We're going to come to the line weight settings because all your assignments are given to you in inches you're going to switch to that and say OK. Now we need to make a dimension style. We can do it from here, format dimension style. We can do it from this icon, will bring us into the dimension style, or from this icon on the dimension toolbar. So once we're here, we're going to create a new dimension style. We have the standard, we're going to make a new style it's going to be called paper space dimension style and continue and here in lines we want to extend beyond the ticks actually let's start over here and set the ticks because we can't get to that one until we do so architectural tick or oblique is fine and the arrow size we're going to make 330 seconds enter and then I'm going to come back here now we can access that one 330 seconds enter extend beyond dimension lines we're going to switch this to 1 8th enter then we're going to come over to the text tab and we're going to click this browse button here and we're going to make a new style and we're going to call it just to remind us it'll be paper space dimension text say OK and here it is here we're going to make this Roman D We're going to leave the height here. It's, it's already set outside over here. But we are going to squeeze it together a little bit. Make that 0.8. And you can see that change in the preview. 
and then we're going to apply this, close this. We're going to switch our text style to our PSDIM text, and we're going to make the height 3, 30 seconds. Enter. Vertical placement, we're going to place our dimensions above, so watch the preview, it will change to above. We are going to offset from the dimension line one one thirty second. Enter. And we're going to align with the dimension lines. Then we're going over to the Fit tab. If there isn't enough room to put both the text and the, the ticks in, the first thing to move outside will be the text. Text is going to be placed over the dimension line. Let's make it without the leader. And we leave the scale as is. Our primary units will be architectural. We're going to use diagonal fractions. And we're going to take this suppression off for inches. And we're going to say OK. Now we're going to make that new dimension style, PS Dimen, our current style. So set current. And we're going to close out of here. And you will see that we've set both the current uh, text style and dimension style. If we plan on putting notes in model space, we'll need to switch to that one. If we're putting notes over in paper space, we'll need to have this one on. Okay, also in our startup drawing we want to have our layers set up, the ones that we use for our projects all the time. So you would set up your walls layer with the 016 uh, line weight. We would set up a viewport layer to put our viewports on and we would uh, click that little printer so that it never plots. Set up a text layer fixtures and furniture at 014, electrical and lighting, and in the electrical and lighting layer, of course your switches would go on that, your receptacles, anything hardwired, and also the arc that runs from the switch to the lighting. If we have this at continuous, then we have to do an override in our drawing to switch that to dashed. Or likewise, if we were to load up a dashed line and make this line white line type dashed, then we would have to do an override on the switches and outlets to change them to continuous. Door swings 010, dimensions 008, and an off layer that uh, it's just convenient for putting some entities that we want them to disappear, but we want to access them if necessary. So we just put them on this off layer and it's turned off on, unless we choose to turn it on. So once those are set up, uh, then our startup drawing has all of those settings ready for us. And at this point we are going to do a file, save as, and you would put that in your M drive and you could call it start up drawing with all settings. And once you have that saved, you can close it and then anytime you want to start a new assignment, uh, you can open that. It will have all your units, your grid, your dimension style, etc. all set for you. Now, when we used to have a line that was dashed, in order for it to show in model space, we would have to set an LT scale and we would go up in increments of 10 until we would find what was appropriate. Uh, now, for our drawing, we're just going to leave the LT scale at 1 because most of the time we plan on printing out from paper space, which is over here, layout space. And I just want to give you a little demo here. Here's one viewport. I'm going to do a zoom all so I can see my line right there. And I'm going to set a 
one eighth inch viewport there. So that line is 20 feet long out in my model space and here it is showing in my viewport. I'm going to make another viewport and I'm going to make this viewport one quarter inch. You can see that our dash line is displaying differently in two different viewports and I'm going to set this one at one half inch. So each time uh, these display differently which isn't what we want. So th there is a little necessary step. We do leave LT scale at one and we have something called paper space PSLT scale and by default it's at one and we leave that when we want these to display correctly we always have to for some reason click back out to model space and back to layout space and now you can see that they all display the same way it is true that when, when we are in model space we're working with a dash line and you can't see it and that throws some people but since the most important thing is how it will print out uh, this is how we work the system. Uh, when we go between model space and paper space using this particular icon as opposed to over here, we can't see the dash line unless we put the cursor right on it. When we're in paper space here, we do see the dash line. When we come to model right here within our layout, we can see it in model space here, we can see it in paper space here, and this icon also, when I click it and we get this red line around it, we're working now in model space and we can see the dash in there. And just, this is another way to toggle between model and paper.